my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing the Windsor and Newton Professional Acrylics. Uh, I reached out to them and they sent me some samples. I've just recently done a, an oil painting demo. So anyway, here is what they gave me. It was a little brochure and it says trying is believing. Um, then you open it up and it has, it had the samples in here. And then, a breakthrough in innovation, our professional acrylic colors are brilliant when wet and remain as bright when dry. So what you see is what you get. 80 brilliant light fast colors with 66 single pigments for exceptional color mixing. Try our three primary colors with professional acrylic flow improver which increases flow without compromising color strength. Now, since this is shiny it is going to be a little harder to show you things because all the packaging is super shiny. But here is what we got. We got Windsor & Newton Professional Acrylic Flow Improver. It's medium gloss. It is very transparent. Um, it is pretty slow dry and it's very fluid. It maintains no color shift from wet to dry when used with Windsor & Newton Professional Acrylics. Increases flow, maintains stability, slows drying, increases leveling, and pre-mix with water up to 10% and then mix with color. Then we have Permanent Rose, Phthalo Blue Red Shade, and Azo Yellow Medium. So we have three primary colors as you can see, definitely better than the oil painting selection I think. Um, you get, you know, easily mixable colors unlike last time with the oil paints. Uh, they gave us random colors it felt like, and there was no white, so anyway, uh, if I need to use white of course I will be using white, um, but I think I can mix around what I think I'll need to be able to mix with these colors. So um, just as I did last time, I had a slight complaint that <clears throat> they give you, it feels like a decent amount of acrylic, but you don't get anything to like reseal, so you have to put it in a jar or a container or something. And I don't know, it just feels like a waste of paint. So I do wish that they would add like some kind of resealable measure or even just give you sample size little tubes or whatever. Oh well. Uh, that's just me nitpicking. Um, I'm really excited to try these out and the flow improver. Um, I don't think I can say anything else because I can't really write the packaging or anything um, because this isn't their standard packaging. Um, I suppose that that is it for now. I will go on into an illustration, let you know pros, cons, how I felt about stuff like that. Uh, rate it and all that stuff. So let's get over there and I hope to see you there. All right, I know I didn't say it earlier, but now I'm going to do a swatch test. I'm just going to kind of see how these paints do on the black, uh, just to kind of see how opaque and stuff they are. And um, just to show you guys what they look like, here was the yellow and it's really bright and there was a ton of this. Um, and then here is the permanent rose. There wasn't as much of this, but it was a pretty good chunk. And then the Thalo Blue Red Shade. Uh, there was also just a little dab, not near as much as the yellow. Um, anyway, so we will just load up a brush and see how this does. Alright, as I expected, the um, yellow is pretty transparent. Um, it's very pretty though. I really enjoy how it like looks. Alright, next up is the Permanent Rose. This one seems to be a little bit more opaque. It's not completely transparent. It's not really completely opaque. It's kind of like that in between. At least that's what I'm getting. Um, I don't know. I think it's really pretty though. I really like it. It's not your traditional red and I think that's what I like about it the most. And then last is the Thalo Blue Red Shade. And this one is a heck of a lot more opaque. At least that's what I'm getting. Here are the colors. They're really beautiful. I love them. Um, they seem to dry matte. Um, the only one that's dried so far is the yellow. Um, but I will talk about that, you know, as the illustration goes on. But um, here are the swatches. And I actually am going to test out some mixability. Uh, but I'm going to do that in time lapse. So uh, let's get to mixing some colors. I want to go ahead and start off by saying thank you very much Windsor & Newton for letting me, you know, use these, try these out. Uh, I had a lot of fun using them and they're really great to work with. So now on to what I thought of how they mixed. They mixed really well together. I had no problems. Uh, they made a nice color selection for me to use. Um, now I am going to talk about the picture before I go any further. I am basically just kind of painting some kind of generic -y scenery picture because I was really frustrated when I was filming this. I couldn't draw anything that felt like it was worth anything. So I just 
resorted to a sunset sunrise scene that I seem to always go to. I don't understand my thought process, but that's how it goes. Uh, anyway, as far as the paints go, you know, I, I use these and this might sound weird, I don't know, but I've used paints that seem just as good and they weren't as expensive. That's just my opinion though. Um, this speed paint is short so I'm not going to have like a lot of time to say stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give my rating and, you know, rating wise, I think these are great. They're a good 8. I really like them. They're really smooth and blendy. But um, I tend to prefer stuff that's uh, a little bit thinner, kind of like Liquitex Basics. Like that's just what I like to paint with. Um, really nothing against the brand of paint or anything, it's just what I prefer and stuff like that. But I mean, like I said, these, honestly, if you're going to go for an acrylic paint, just find something that's light fast. You don't have to have Winsor & Newton. I mean, these are good, but they're, there's stuff out there that's just as good that's cheaper. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of the speed paint and of the review uh, down in the comments below. And don't forget to join our cute little squid army if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!